Hello, in today's training video we are going to discuss how to convert the Powercom and Milcom series wireless diver units into a compact surface station using the CDK6 conversion kit. The CDK6 conversion kit includes a 55-foot transducer cable and a THB13 headset with a boom microphone. Please note that the CDK6 is not sold as a package with a Powercom or Milcom unit and is sold separately as an additional accessory. To begin the installation of the CDK6 onto the Powercom or Milcom unit, the first step is to remove the transducer on the diver unit. To accomplish this, locate the gripper ring below the transducer and rotate it clockwise until the transducer lifts off. It is important that you do not twist the transducer itself as you may cause damage to the transducer and the connector pins on the unit. Once the transducer is removed, ensure that an O-ring is present inside the transducer where the pins are located and that it is clear of dirt and debris. Next, locate the appropriate end of the transducer cable and insert it into the transducer by rotating the connector until it engages in the socket. Then rotate the cable's gripper ring until it locks into the transducer. Give it a gentle tug to ensure that the connector is seated and secured. Next, take the other end of your transducer cable and insert it into the top of the diver unit where the transducer used to be. Connecting the cable serves as the on switch. Connecting the cable bypasses the water switch and activates the unit. The red indicator located between the two water contacts on the top will show that the power is on. An important consideration for this cable is that you decide to break for lunch or are done with your operations for the day to disconnect the cable as it will drain your batteries if left installed. The last step is to take the high use connector from your diver unit and plug the corresponding high use connector of your THB13 headset into each other. Once that is complete, you're ready to implement your converted diver unit as a surface station. To use the CDK6, lower the transducer into the water, free and clear from obstructions and at least a couple of feet under the water's surface. It is important to keep the transducer off the bottom of your diving environment, out of sand, mud or anything else. Doing this will greatly reduce transmission range and reduce the chance of receiving transmissions. If you are operating in water with heavy current, marry the transducer cable to a weighted down line. It is not recommended that you attach a weight directly to the transducer cable itself. Don the headset and move the boom microphone within a quarter inch from your mouth and press hold the PTT button on the side of the headset to transmit. Release the PTT button to put the unit into listening mode, which will receive incoming transmissions and play them into the headset. Remember, when speaking on the surface, be sure to slow your rate of speech slightly, speak loudly and enunciate your words as best as possible to give the diver listening the best chance at understanding your transmission through their bubble noise and other noises they may be encountering underwater. Always use caution when operating out of a boat. Keep this and any transducer cable clear of propellers. Replacement transducer and cables are available. Upon completion of the dive operation and prior to stowing the assembly, rinse the cable in fresh water as needed. The headset is not waterproof. You can wipe it down with moist and cleaning towelettes. Store these components dried and out of direct sunlight. The OTS mask bag is a great option for storing your CDK6 assembly. Stay tuned for more training videos by subscribing to our channel and be sure to follow us on our other social media accounts listed in the links below for new content every day. If you have any questions about this or would like any further information on our products, visit our website at www.oceantechnologysystems.com, shoot us an email at ots at otscom.com or give us a call 1-800-550-1984.